things, whatever they are. It's great. Natasha Baker is a fascinating artist. For one, she does dressage. For two, she also happens to be paraplegic. And for three, she's actually competing in this year's Paralympics. We met up the day before the shoot to sit down and storyboard three concepts that would tell the story of Natasha as an athlete in a visually engaging manner. All right, so we're here setting up our current lighting setup with um, Natasha Baker here on this beautiful bale of hay. So we have kind of a three-point light setup, um, four including the sun. We have one from the one from the the right, well, my right over here, um, as this uh, soft fill on the side, as well as a couple in the front to soften the shadows from the sun. Um, in the back, we have a Luma Pro that's kind of ringing Natasha in a, in a halo of light, so that's quite practical. And uh, I have here a nasty clamp with an SP800 that I'm going to think of sticking on the stand just really to light up the horse and silhouette him a little, just make him pop out of the background. So the background's really, really dark uh, since we're in the shade. Um, it's going to look pretty cool, pretty dramatic. And um, that's that. Um, walking around with uh, awesome equipment here. I have an undefined bag, uh, just keep pulling things in and out of it. It's like a glorious uh, photographer's fanny pack. And this amazing camera strap, awesome and comfortable from Custom SLR. Um, check it out later. For those of you who have ever tried working with horses or animals, you'll know that it's quite a challenge to get them in just the right place. They also have individual quirks and personalities, which makes each shoot unique. JP, for example, was quite skittish, whereas Bam Bam was curious. For our first concept, the idea was to create a natural looking peaceful image with a hint of dramatic romance. An image that could evoke feelings that anyone could relate to of relaxing in the fields with their closest friends. In this case, Natasha, JP, and Bam Bam. For the second photograph, we wanted to go for something a bit more personal. Something that truly showcased the relationship between Natasha and JP. To do that, we created a moment perhaps a moment of preparation, or even victory. The first step was to bring them to the same level, to showcase the symbiosis that they shared. The second was to display a single tear running down JP's face in order to emphasize the bond between them. To do that, we simply used one lens, one flash, and a can of Vaseline. For the third shot, he decided to go for a dramatic and epic look. Natasha is a serious contender for the gold medal at this year's Paralympics, yet she's a brand new subject. To light this shot, we merely had Natasha riding through two massive soft boxes with flashes provided to us by Levin Pitts. We had quite a challenging time getting all the elements right with a constantly shifting wind, as well as JP, who got extremely nervous among the smoke. Thanks to the reassuring voice and masterful technique of Natasha, we managed to pull off the perfect shot. Having her coming out of the smoky darkness into the light without revealing much of her identity was my way of conveying the mystery and potential that she brought. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I just wanted to take a couple seconds right now to break down why and how I lit my shots. So, for those of you who have been following my work, you notice that I usually go for the more dark, dramatic, and epic looking style shots. But sometimes it's fun to challenge yourself to come up with something completely different. So, in my case, that would be something that was natural, romantic, and smooth. Something completely different from what I do. And um, while one would assume that when creating a more natural style image, you would be using a lot less artificial lighting, that's not really always the case. So as you saw, for the first image over there, we had a whole bunch of flashes just coming in to help light the shot. And why is that? Because when no flashes go off in the midday sun, you have extremely harsh shadows that just come and just basically cut the image out. So Natasha over here is glowing, JP is completely dark, and just everything looks either bright or dark. And it, it, it's not really nice. So. Uh, well, one would use sometimes uh, speed lights to come in and help kick up those shadows. Um, speed lights aren't really powerful enough in midday sun. So luckily for us, we had these 500 watt studio strobes from Linkstar powered by Innovatronics Mini Explorer um, battery packs. 
And that was great, really, because we're in the open field and we're able to bring in these studio strobes to help light our shadows. And they were completely bare, just reflectors, really to get the maximum amount of power to help focus out the shadowy areas and even out the difference between the highlights and the shadows. On the flip side, though, when you're in a more controlled environment, like in the third shot over there, um, we were able to put on some soft boxes because we had a lot more control over the lighting. We had less challenges. We just dropped down the ambient light by boosting up the power on the soft boxes. And we're able to create a really, really dramatic portrait with only two light sources. So lots of variety. It really depends on um, being able to master your lighting and whatever equipment you happen to have. So um, there we go. If you guys like, would like more details, um, we're actually going to be coming out with a DVD and uh, even going to be featuring um, how to composite multiple images together, like in the first shot where we took JP and Bam and just threw them on the same shot. Um, I'll be showing how to do that, how to process the images uh, in a DVD, so you can find the subscription link on the bottom. And if not, just like, comment, subscribe, um, share our work. We're doing these for free and we really love them. So um, whatever you can do to share our work, it's really appreciated. And if not, click around, enjoy, it's all good. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great one.